50 years ago today, Senator Robert Kennedy died for being shot inside the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles, California. And tonight, people right here in Indianapolis remembered his tragic death and the legacy he left behind. Wish TV's Jenny Dreisler joins us live tonight from Kennedy King Memorial in Indy. Jenny. Well, Mike and Brooke, two months before RFK died in 1968, he delivered that iconic speech right here in this park where he delivered the sad news of the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King. But it was today that dozens of community Again, members came out to honor Robert Kennedy this as part of a 50th down. anniversary Thank commemoration. You. Kennedy, a rising political star, was a devoted supporter of the civil rights oh movement. A key topic talked about at tonight's ceremony. Dr. Indy Martin resident Luther Paul King. Page witnessed Thank RFK's God. speech in Indianapolis in April of 1968. And says Kennedy's message of love over hate is needed now more than ever. He forecast that it wouldn't be solved anywhere, the whole racial situation, the racial divide in the near future. I do, in my heart, believe that we've come a very long way from the way it was in that day. And I'm taking for granted what he says that it'll take a while longer, but I'm going to work to make sure that it happens. Campaign, building bridges. Mayor Joe Hogsett also spoke at tonight's ceremony and said RFK's legacy of peace needs to be remembered in a time when racial tensions are still high. Sirhan Sirhan was convicted of assassinating RFK. He is currently serving a life sentence at a state prison in California. Reporting live in Indianapolis, Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8.